So here we are in um, Little Over, um, about to catch the bus into the Derby City Centre um, to get the other bus to go to Bakewell on search of Bakewell tarts. Tarts of Bakewell. This is the road where we shall get the bus from. This bus stop here. And all we do now is wait. See that tree over there? Which one? That tree in the garden. Here we have Andrew Orsop. Andrew Orsop. Have you ever seen a Bakewell tart? Yes. And um, how do I find out that the tart that I'm looking at is true Bakewell? Look for a sprinkling of coconut. Coconut. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Andrew. All Thank the best with your rowing. Thanks for the tip. Here we are with our Starbucks. And um, we uh, didn't actually investigate Bakewell tarts in Starbucks. However, Starbucks did make us good drinks. So, even though they do not have Bakewell to our knowledge, I still think that um, we have a chance. And the search will continue. Yes, exactly. What's the point necessarily? Okay, here we are at, oh you really can't see that at all, it's a bit of a shame, but that sign says Bakewell Road. I was just wondering, have you seen the Bakewell tarts? Excuse me, duck. Ducky! <laughs> Please look at us, duck. Ducky! I don't know where they are, leave me alone. Okay. just found a recipe with the baked quail tart. Where's she gone? Sarah. I think we found the baked quail tart. The old original baked quail pudding shop. So it claims to be original. I think we should look in the window. Okay. Follow me. What is that? It's some kind of tart. Staff required. Uh, there's someone in there though. Perhaps they're serving tarts. That's a bakewell tart. So as you can see, um, we have found the bakewell tart, which is this one here. However, bakewell tarts are nothing to do with bakewell at all. It's a lie. Bakewell pudding is really what comes from bakewell, which is what we have here. Family size, twin pack, or single behind the bar. So what's the pudding? So what's the pudding got in it? The pudding has got in it puff pastry, almond essence, crushed almonds, egg, caster sugar. I can't remember what else now. And it forms, it sets like an egg custard. Not like the Mr. Kipling baked tarts as we think we know it. Who's Mr. Kipling anyway? He's some guy who likes to make cakes. Oh, okay. There we have it. Egg quills. We've spotted some local birds. Hello, bird. Hello, bird. How big it is compared to my hand. Hello, birds. Have you had? Have you tried the? the have you tried the local tarts? The, I mean, the Bakewell puddings. Yeah, they said yes. Oh, they're dancing for us. Oh, they're wagging their tails. They're wagging them well. I'm a bit scared. Okay, we're going to move now in case they attack us. <laughs> Hello. Here we are in the country. We are on a footpath, but you can't tell. 
only that there's a sign that says uh, Hodden Hill, I think that's where we're headed to. Hodden Hall, I think you'll find. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Hannah in the water. Hello. Oh, it's freezing. But we shall pretend to be warm. Fishies, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> so Hannah, you made it to the other side. Okay, we're going to try poo sticks now. Hans is the big one, mine's a small one. One, two, three, go. Here's one. Oh, there's the big one. I can't even see the small one, but apparently it's in front. Yeah, it is. Here we are in Bakewell Bakery. Hey, how many tarts do you, I mean puddings, do you make a day? <laughs> uh, I'd say probably about one million a day. Wow. That's extraordinary. And who buys these puddings? Everybody in the world. Awesome. <laughs> Great. And um, what do you like best about puddings uh, of the Bakewell variety? Eating them. Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, so here we have Hannah um, about to prepare the Bakewell tart ready for my mum and dad and Steve to um, eat. Here's the box. Um, it says Bakewell on it. And here is the Bakewell pudding, not tart at all, actually I lied. And we're going to heat it up and so that they can eat it warm, if they would so wish, with a cup of tea, of course, what else we are in England. Okay, that's all for now. Today, when we were on the bus, we met a man who was very kind and funny. Um, he was probably about 70-ish. And he was on his way to Nottingham. Nottingham! Like Nottingham Forest, you know, like where Robin Hood lives. Anyway, Robin Hood was on his way to Nottingham when he met his band of merry men. And we realised, oh my goodness, we've been looking in Nottingham for the merry men when we were never going to find them in Nottingham. We we're only ever going to find them on the way, just like Robin Hood. So, anyway, just wanted to let you know that we did find merry man <laughs> on the bus to Nottingham. But we got off at Derby, before Nottingham. And um, that was because we were coming from Bakewell, and Bakewell is great, not just for getting puddings, but also for finding Roman. That's all. M marvellous. Oh, the moment of truth has come. Is this pudding, as they so call it, any good, actually, to the taste buds? So, Sarah and I are going to taste it now with a cup of tea. Yes! So, one piece. As you can see, it looks quite interesting. I don't think she's impressed. <laughs> I don't think she's convinced. It kind of tastes like pancakes. Pancakes? Yeah, like with golden syrup. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's your turn now. Okay. I'm going to try this very same piece of Bakewell pudding. Don't like almonds, so this could be interesting. It doesn't taste like almonds. That's good. <laughs> Pancakes. <laughs> kind of. It's really sweet. Mm. I don't think I'm totally convinced. I think it's a bit too sweet for me. A bit too much jam. A bit too much sugar. Mm. Not enough chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But you know, I could see why people would like it if they like that kind of thing. Mm. That's my conclusion. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Bakewell. It's time to say goodbye now. Bye. Bye. Steve, what, what's your conclusion on the Bakewell tart? It's, uh, it's very different um, and it's very nice occasionally. <laughs> Great answer. Um, Dad, what do you think of the Bakewell tart? Um, it's quite unusual. It's very sweet, nice pastry, um, but um, probably um, not an acquired taste, but one which uh, you have to have a sweet tooth to enjoy. <laughs> Great. Very nice though. Mum, what's your opinion? Uh, yeah, I think it's slightly on the sweet side too. Sweeter than normal bake-up, bake -up tart, but um, it's quite soggy, which is quite interesting. It'd be good with custard. <laughs> good. Yes. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>